Lucasfilm recently announced the development of Lando, a new live-action event series developed by Justin Simeon for Disney+. That's all we know about it. No word on whether it will star Billy Dee Williams, Donald Glover, someone new, but already fans are speculating on what we might see, so I thought I would join in on the fun. A very popular idea right now, and it's one that I agree with, is that we would get to see both Billy Dee Williams and Donald Glover. Each episode could open with Lando after the Battle of Exegol, telling a story about his past. We would then flash back to that point in his life where Donald Glover is back in the role. This approach adds a lot of flexibility. The chapters set in the past could tie together to tell one continuous story, or they could all be random exploits from the Calrissian Chronicles, just fun, one-off adventures. That approach would allow for the Millennium Falcon to come back into play, as well as L337. We could jump back in time before Solo A Star Wars Story. We could jump to After Solo. We could do almost anything. If I had to guess, I think they'll follow a more serialized approach where each episode builds off the last, and maybe we'll get a kinda sorta sequel to Solo. But Molly pointed something out that I really like that hadn't even crossed my mind. The Billy D. Williams side of the story might also all be connected. The rise of Skywalker leaves off with him and Janna potentially setting off on a new adventure. I think it would be good to follow up on that, because some fans were confused by it. I don't think Janna is related to Lando at all. Lando just empathizes with someone that reminds him of his daughter. All of this was cut from the film, but the First Order kidnapped Lando's daughter and likely forced her into life as a stormtrooper. I don't think Janna is that daughter, he just wants to help another family out because he knows what they went through. So not only could we pick up on that dropped thread from episode 9, but we could see it play out. This follows a very similar format to some Star Wars comics in the Adventures line, like Michael Morisi's Clone Wars Battle Tales or Kevin Scott's Vader's Castle series. A group of heroes has a goal, and each issue moves them a little closer to that goal, and while they press on, they tell stories to pass the time. I'd love to see each episode open and close with Lando and Janna as they travel to and pick up a new clue or something like that, but the bulk of the episode is about Donald Glover's Lando and whatever he's up to that week. The fact that Lando is described as an event series makes me think this is planned as a one-season story, which again, I'm glad about. Like Kenobi, I appreciate that they have a story that is more or less set in stone to tell. I also think that it makes Donald Glover far more likely to be attached, even though he has yet to be named. He's a busy man, so a one-season commitment is probably far more appealing than something open-ended. While I tend to get more excited about stories about new characters and new eras, I have to admit, a Lando series has got me intrigued. Billy D. Williams is like the coolest man on the planet, and I loved Glover's take on the character as well. Let me know what you hope to see in Lando in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all our Star Wars coverage, follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.